Good morning to all the audience. My name is Sasson Melissa and I'm a 12th grader of Dubai International School. And uh, the project, the title of my project is Smart Home Power, uh, Smart Home Power Security. Uh, I was going to do this presentation uh, based on the uh, engineering process, but uh, that I'm only allowed to have like one or two slides, so I'm just going to go briefly about it. But uh, about why this project is so important to the Cambodian society and why it is uh, relevant to the theme. Uh, let's start with the problem. Uh, can I share screen? Cha cha. Yes, we can share screen. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so let's start with the problem. We all know that uh, electric city is a really big part of our lives. Most of us can't live without it um, because it benefits us a lot um, in many ways. And uh, but no matter no matter how beneficial it is, um, uh, there are still some problem that most people uh, in my community still not aware of it. And um, I've been doing surveys. Uh, the citizen uh, in my village, not one has a smoke detector in their house. And according to the Fire of Protection uh, Organ uh, Association, uh, more than 45,000 residential fires a year are the result of overloaded electrical circuits. For those who don't know what it is, uh, the simple explanation is um, when too much current passes through uh, electrical wires and, uh, and the wires heat and melt, and that's when it starts a fire. Uh, mostly happens uh, when we put too many plugs uh, in one socket. And according to Ohm's law and uh, parallel resistance uh, formula, um, the more plugs, the less uh, resistance we have. And um, as the value of the resistance uh, is approaching zero, uh, the value of the current approaching infinity. Um, and it's not that this problem is new to us. We, we already have a um, solution for this like circuit breaker, but you know, circuit breaker, uh, sometimes uh, malfunction and uh, it doesn't jump. Um, and by using only circuit breaker, um, it, uh, the safety in our house uh, isn't 100% safe, 100% uh, guaranteed. And uh, it could already start a fire even before uh, the circuit breaker jump to turn off. And it's so time consuming. Uh, we have to go back and forth uh, to turn it back on. And, but this project is so much smarter than the circuit breaker. Um, let's see how it works and what can it do. Next. Yes. Um, so let's get started. Uh, this is um, the power grid and then the electricity uh, flows from the power grids into our house. But before that, it um, reached the circuit breaker first. Um, and we have a, a sensor, current sensor, or we can call it Hall effects, that is used to uh, measure the current in our circuit. And uh, we have a relay that are the electronic uh, switches that we can turn it on or off uh, by using the program that we have. And we have a GSM that is used for sending messages from the system um, in our house to a mobile phone. Um, and then um, uh, it will uh, send uh, the messages is uh, like all about the status of the current in in our circuit uh, like if it's too low or if it's too high uh, it, it will send us uh, necessary informations and uh, warnings like uh, if you want to turn it off or turn it on and you no matter where you are on this planet you can uh, give commands into the system in your house uh, like you can uh, tell it to do whatever you want and no matter where you are, you can do like everything is in your hand. <clears throat> and I make some uh, condition. 
uh, about uh, in the program, uh, we uh, so when the current is a little high, it will send us a warning so that we can choose to turn it on or off. Or, or we have a manual mode that, uh, by the way, is for um, the house applies the house uh, supplies that uh, require a lot of um, uh, electrical current and don't worry if uh, if it's in manual mode and the current is too high uh, it will just uh, turn itself off when uh, even before the circuit breaker will and uh, um, it won't, and the special thing about this is uh, it won't turn off the whole thing like circuit breaker. Like circuit breaker, if uh, it exceeds the uh, limit current, it will uh, turn off the whole thing in, like, in the uh, our household, it will turn off the whole power. But um, uh, for this project, it will, it will just turn off the socket that has the problem. And never forget that uh, it sends messages uh, to us so we would know uh, when it has the problems and we can call the technicians or we can call the fire uh, station or the fire de department. It's like everything is in, is in our hand. We know everything. We, uh, everything is prepared and ready. So this is a, like, a short demonstration of my project based on the, tri uh, the diagram that we have. So this is the sequence of uh, how the uh, current flow from uh, one place to another. Uh, stop. She has a clip. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> and this is a a small like an actual. Uh, an actual uh, prototype of my project uh, that based on the diagram that I just show, show at the moment, we have, uh, can you see it? We have a, um, this is, this is, uh, I hope you can see it. Uh, this is uh, a Hall effect or current sensor that is, it is just so small. I hope you can see it, the green one. Uh, it's a, a current sensor, a Hall effect. And then uh, this is a, we call relay, that is the electronic um, switches that we uh, program to turn it on and turn it off, like based on the condition that we have put. And <clears throat> this is the microcontroller. We use uh, Arduino um, Uno for the micro, uh, microcontroller and the program. This is GSM that uh, I just show on the diagram is for sending and receiving messages. And uh, it will send us mis uh, actual messages like, uh, sorry. <laughs> like this. I hope you can, <laughs> I hope you can see it, but it's something like this. It, we can give command to it. We can give, uh, uh, tell it to turn on or off, and then it will send us. It will turn. It will do the things that we command, and then it will uh, send us the uh, status of the um, uh, circuits. So it's very, really, uh, it's really reliable and not time consuming. And by the way, uh, all this material is really like, it's not so expensive. It's just. Um, Oh, and by the way, uh, we can we can use like two G phone on not just smartphone. We can use uh, like uh, phones that I mean I mean not only smartphone that we can use it uh, with this uh, kind of project. So it's really cheap and not time consuming. And so that's all. Well, uh, do you have any question? Yeah, so I'm going to smart home power security. Yeah,